Thank you, God. 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 Yes, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Praise is what we do. Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. We lift you up, God. We magnify your name. We glorify you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you. We give thanks to you, God. We give thanks to you, God. We thank you this morning, God. We thank you. We thank you for all that you've done for us, God. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God, we are so grateful. We are so grateful for all that you have done for us, God. 
We're grateful for all that you're doing for us, God. We're grateful for all the things that you will do, God. We thank you for working behind the scenes. We thank you for stirring up some stuff inside of us. We thank you for making a shift in us, God. We thank you for breaking up some things so they can move out the way, Lord God. So we see it with more of you and less of us, God. We thank you. We thank you for the clarity, God. We thank you for understanding. We thank you for the knowledge and wisdom, Lord God. We thank you for showing up when we need you, Lord God. Not on our time, but on your time. It was right on time, God. We thank you for showing up, God. Thank you, God. We just thank you. We thank you, God. We just thank you. We thank you, God. We just thank you. Thank you, God. We just thank you. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you, God. We thank you for the courage and the confidence, God. We thank you for showing us our reflection in the mirror and see what you see, God. We thank you. We just thank you, God. We just thank you. We thank you for the sisterhood. We thank you for the reconciliation of relationships. We thank you for mending some things, God, that we thought that were broken and could never be fixed. We thank you. We just thank you, God. We thank you for those solutions to those situations that we didn't even know how to figure out, God. We thank you. We thank you for lifting the weight up off our shoulders, Lord God, so we don't have to carry all those things around. We thank you for carrying them for us, Lord God. Thank you. We thank you for making the way out of no way, Lord God. We thank you for the shelter. We thank you for providing for us, Lord God. We thank you for the safekeeping, Lord God. We thank you for dispatching your angels and guiding us and guarding us through the day, Lord God. We thank you for guiding our footsteps, Lord God. We thank you for changing our mindsets, Lord God. We just thank you, God. We just thank you. We just thank you for providing for us in each and every way, Lord God, giving us an assurance that we can depend on you and we can't depend on anyone else, and we just want to say thank you, Lord. We thank you for the unconditional love, Lord God, the love we couldn't get from the people around us that we thought should love us, Lord God. You love us in each and every way, Lord God. You make us feel safe and at peace, Lord God. You give us hope. You help us to not feel alone, Lord God. And we thank you. Thank you for feeling your presence, Lord God. Thank you. So that we don't feel alone, God, we just thank you. God, we just thank you. We appreciate you, Lord God. We couldn't tell you thank you enough for all that you've done, Lord God. We just thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we just thank you, God. We just thank you. Thank you, God. We just thank you. Thank you for guiding our footsteps, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you for the direction, Lord God. Thank you for intervening in our plan so that it is your plan, Lord God. And thank you. Thank you, God.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. We just want to give you thanks this morning, Lord God. Just thank you for all that you've done for us, Lord God. Thank you for showing us that we can be everything that you said that we are, Lord God. We just thank you for letting us be able to see ourselves, Lord. Give us all the different identities, Lord God, and we just can be ourselves. We just thank you. Thank you for giving us a heart to love others, to be a giver, and be a chill forgiver, Lord God. We thank you. Thank you for instilling your ways in us, Lord God, so we don't be selfish, Lord God. We just thank you. God, we just want to tell you we love you this morning. We appreciate you so, so much, Lord God. Because without you, we are nothing, God. Without you, we are nothing, God. We love you and we appreciate you, God. We don't want to put anything or anyone, any other idols, any other things that we worship and don't know. We worship above you, God. Help us to pull those things down and put you first, Lord God. Help us to realize when we're doing those things so we can pull it down immediately, Lord God, so we cannot put no one before you. Lord God, I just ask you to give us some forgiveness this morning. We ask you for forgiveness for saying a thing or doing the thing that was not like you, God, for thinking the thing or acting on the thing that we should not have, Lord God. Help us to work on those things, Lord God, and we're fighting to work on, Lord God. Help us to continue to push to fight against those things, Lord God, because we need your help, because we can't do it ourselves, Lord God. We need your help in anything and everything that we do in all areas of our life, Lord God. We need your help, whether it's to make a decision, whether it's to come out of a dark place, whether it's just to make a small choice of what to buy and what not to buy, Lord God. Let us still look to you to make the best decisions that we can make in life, Lord God. But, Lord God, we thank you for your help. Thank you, God. Thank you. Lord God, I just ask that you continue to cover and watch over us, Lord God. Continue to protect us, to shield us, Lord God, as we go about the day, Lord God. Continue touching those lives in Louisiana, Lord God, that have to put everything back together, Lord God. Touch the families that have lost, Lord God. Touch the ones who are unsure of what to do next, Lord God, and give them direction. Lord God, I'm asking you to go across the nation, Lord God, and touch all the people, Lord God. Individually, Lord God, touch all their hearts and stir up some things inside of them, Lord God, so they can look to you, Lord God, so they can have a heart for you, Lord God, so they can change some of their ways, Lord God. They are not right, Lord God. Touch their hearts so they can have a heart like you, Lord God. So they can treat people the way that they should be treated, Lord God. Treat each other with kindness and respect and love and compassion, Lord God. Lord God, I'm asking you to continue to cover us individually as we go about today and covering the children at the schools, Lord God, the faculties and staff and the bus drivers and even the crossing guards, Lord God. I'm asking you to just breathe some fresh air. Breathe some air of sanitation around, Lord God. Lord God, just build our trust in you, Lord God. Our confidence and our courage, Lord God. We 
because you lead the way, Lord God. And it's your will, not ours. Let us be obedient. Let us follow your directions when they're given, Lord God. And if we don't understand fully how to do it, let us ask for help so we can be obedient to your word and directions that you've given us, Lord God. Because we don't want to miss that door open that you have provided for us for giving us those directions, Lord God. We thank you for the elevation, Lord God, and the new territory that you've given us, Lord God. Help us continue to fight for our territory, Lord God. So we can continue to go higher in you, Lord God. Let's continue to praise and worship your name daily, Lord God, in the midst of whatever it is, Lord God. Help us not to complain about the little things, Lord God, because we think it's just not a big deal, but we don't want to complain, Lord God. Help us to remember, just pray our way through, Lord God. Help us to remember that everything is not what it seems and what we see, Lord God, and what we hear, Lord God. Let's look at it from the outside, Lord God, and take ourselves out of the situation so that we can see and reevaluate the situation and find the lesson in it. This is all a test. So we can pass these tests and not have to keep repeating the same test over and over again, Lord God. Help us to pass the test, Lord God. Help us to see more with our spiritual eyes and hear more with our spiritual ears. Let us be more in the spirit so we can discern better, Lord God. Lord God, let us continue to know that you walk through the fire with us, Lord God, and we are not alone. And we are not the only ones going through those things, Lord God. But we're all getting it together, together, Lord God. Let's remember to reach out to one another so that we can pray for each other and we can lift up one another and encourage one another, Lord God. We don't have to sit here and fight with ourselves and within our minds about what's going on because we can simply just pray to you and call one of our sisters and pray about it and talk about it and shake it off, Lord God, and leave it right there because we don't want to carry around those burdens. We want to leave them at your feet, Lord God, because said the battle is not ours, it's yours, and we don't have to fight up against that thing. We can just give it to you. Because you can carry it for us, Lord God, and we don't have to carry it, Lord God. We can take the weights off our backs and off our shoulders and stop trying to struggle with it. We don't have to struggle with it. Those little cares and little worries that we just ponder all day, Lord God, we don't have to. Because all we have to do is say, God's going to take care of it. God's going to do it. You know, all the desires of our heart. We just have to simply continue to give you our heart. And the more that we give you our heart and delight ourselves in you, you will give us all the things that we desire, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. Lord God, I just thank you for your peace and your calm spirit this morning, Lord God. I thank you for the, the push you give this morning for us to get up this morning, Lord God. Now, Lord God, I pray that everyone online is able to push this morning, Lord God. And those who are not able to get up online, Lord God, I pray that you give them the push for the rest of the days, Lord God, to get up this morning, Lord God. And sometime today, Lord God, just simply take some time and pray to you, Lord God. Lord God, we know that the enemy comes and attacks, but no weapon form against us shall prosper, Lord God. So whatever it is that he's trying to cook up, Lord God, we just bind it up, Lord God. We bind it and we send it back to piss of hell from whence it came because he has no authority and no power here. There's nothing that he can say or do to take away anything that you have blessed us with spiritually or naturally. Use our family. He would not use our children. He would not use the people on the job. He would not use the people in the street. We will not allow him to do that to us. He's not going to do that to us. 
Lord, I just ask you to give us the strength to push against it, Lord God, to fight against it and recognize when it's happening, Lord God, so it doesn't put us in that place to start getting frantic. Take a deep breath and just say, I know what this is, and this is how I got to handle this, and this is how we got to handle him. Start stepping on his head, slapping him in the face, pushing him around. Because he tries us too much. He tries us too much. But we know that his ways are old, and it's all old tricks. It's all the same thing. We're not going to let those same old things keep on getting to us. We're going to pass these tests with flying colors. Because, Lord God, we have faith in you, Lord God. So we tell the enemy today that he has no power and no authority. We tell him today that none of his old tricks will work. It's not going to work. We're going to pray our way through and push our way through. Because God gives us all the power. All the power God gives inside of us, we're going to use it. We're not going to let it sit there and not be used. We're going to use the power that God put within us, and we're going to fight every day. And we're going to fight for each other. And we're going to fight for our families and friends, Lord God. And even the strangers that we don't know on the street, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the power within, Lord God. We thank you for the changing of the mindset, Lord God. We thank you, God. Lord God, let us not be judgmental towards one another. Let us not look down on people that we don't know. Let us not judge a book by its cover because we don't know what's on the inside. We just look at the outside. Lord, let us continue to love one another and lift each other up and encourage each other, Lord God. Lord God, as you touch all the intercessors, Lord God, give them shield of protection, Lord God, to fight up against whatever it is and whatever it may be, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that today is a beautiful, wonderful day for them, Lord God. Lord God, and it's going to be a prosperous day. Happy day, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask you to touch our pastor in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Cover and shield her, Lord God. Strengthen her and encourage her, Lord God. Touch her body, Lord God, and take away any aches and pains, Lord God. Send your angels and just let them stand up post around her home and her family, Lord God. And she does your work, Lord God. Lord God, touch our families individually, Lord God, and do the works in them that need to be done, Lord God. Touch them in their hearts how they need to be touched. Touch their minds how they need to be touched, Lord God. Touch their spirits and their soul how they need to be touched, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as you continue to heal us, Lord God, continue to heal the land and heal the people, Lord God. And, Lord God, we thank you for the healing that you've already provided, that you're already doing, and that you're already working on in us, Lord God. And we know that it's already done, Lord God. We know that it's already done. Lord God, I just thank you for all that you've done, for all that you will do. And I just thank you in knowing that you can do it, Lord God. And thank you for knowing that you can do it, Lord God. Lord God, I just want to tell you, if you don't do nothing else, you've done so much already, and I'm so grateful already, Lord God. And even though it may look like I'm not making no progress, I know I am, Lord God. It's just a test. It's just a deception, Lord God, because you're trying to work behind the scenes. And it may not look like you're working, but I know you're working, God. And I'm going to sit back and let you drive, Lord God. Sit back and let you drive, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you hear these prayers by all others spoken and thought and the ones in the very deep inside of our heart that you answer these prayers and even consider them, Lord God. In your son Jesus' name, amen.
Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father God. Hallelujah. God, we come to you right now with bow heads and humble hearts, God, asking you to put a fence, a shield, a fence around us today, a fence of protection around us today, God, in the name of Jesus, as we go to and fro from work and to and fro from home, God, covers in your blood, God, in the name of Jesus. I bind in the spirit that might be attacking the members and the intercessors of Harvest Time Ministry and anybody else that's attached to us in the ministry. I bind all the spirits, evil spirits, off of them in the name of Jesus. And I call for your peace to cover their head, God. God, deal with our mindset right now, God. Let us have the compassionate mindset of you of Philippians 2 and 5, God. We, are, we don't want recognition, God, but we want you to tell us how faithful we are because we're doing our best to be faithful, God. And even if we ain't perfect, God, we're still doing our best to serve you. And, God, I thank you for waking up this morning again on the prayer line, God. And I pray for each and every one that's on this prayer line right now in the name of Jesus. And I ask you to touch them in their heart, God. You said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Whoever went into it is safe, God. We know that we have safety with you, God. Uh, regardless of this pandemic, God, we are safe in your arms So your name is a strong tower. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No other name is above your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You say you will reveal your secrets unto your prophets, God. So we're going to stand and be just back in your presence. We're going to stand and be firm in your presence. And I bind the enemy right now off our mindset, bodies. Give us strength, God, to walk another day. Strengthen us to Keep going, God, in the name of Jesus, because it's a fight right now, so let's keep going. But, God, you said press your way, press your way. It's a blessing in the pressing, pressing in the name of Jesus. And, God, just continue to have us press, no matter how we feel, God, no matter how things look, how, many, how, we're, how they are heard, God, in the name of Jesus. Just continue to keep us close to you, God, so you can reveal your revelations unto us, God, as we go deeper in you, God. Continue to bring us up higher, God. Continue to pour out your knowledge and your truth to us, God. You said my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. God, we want to have knowledge. We want to know the truth, God. We don't want to be blind. We don't want to have blinders on the world. We can't see our, our side vision, God, in the name of Jesus. But, God, we just thank you for being God Almighty, El Shaddai, in the name of Jesus, and being our Jehovah nieces the person that battles for us. God, you said this is not our battle, but the battle belongs to you, God. So we're going to sing and praise and lift you up this morning. Hallelujah. Knowing that you are with us in the fire, God, in the name of Jesus. And, and as long as you're with us in the fire, God, you're going to pull us through and show us the way we should go. You know the way that we take, God, in the name of Jesus, and we're going to bow ourselves down. Nevertheless, not our will, but let your will be done this morning, God. And I pray for Pastor in the name of Jesus. Strengthen him from ahead of us, oh God. Give her a rest, God, in the name of Jesus. Keep her hidden behind your cross, God, in the name of Jesus. Keep her in a secret place of safety, God, in the name of Jesus. And keep her mind at peace stayed on you, God, in the name of Jesus. I ask that you strengthen her, God, in the name of Jesus. Give her a joyful mindset in the name of Jesus. Continue to keep her in your word as you teach her. She, Teach her, she teaches us, God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to allow us to grow in your word and in your presence, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, this is what I pray this morning, that every intercessor, before they even get on the prayer line, get up 30 minutes early and just start getting their worship so God can give you what to say on the prayer line each and every day until we uh, go back to regular Wednesday morning. God said he wants you to worship him. He wants all of us to worship him not just in spirit and truth as well. And as we learn the truth day by day, God, you're going to continue to grow us up. You're going to continue to mature us. You're going to continue to pull us through, and you're going to continue to make us into the into the purpose that you have purpose for us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yeah. 
you are great. God, we lift your name up because you are God. God, we just bless you this morning, God. God, we honor you, God. We just bless you, God. Hallelujah. God, you are so worthy of the praise. You are so worthy of all the honor. You are so worthy, God. And we just want to lift you up today, God. We lift you up, God, and we just bless you today, God. We bless you, God, and we honor you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we just glorify you. We magnify you, God. We lift your name up, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you are so worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the honor. You're worthy, God. We magnify you today, God. We glorify you today, God. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. God, we thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're going to do, God. We thank you, God, for blessing us and keeping us safe, God, from all her harm and danger, seen and unseen. We thank you for blessing our children, God, grown or young, God. You keep them, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for blessing our minds, God. We thank you, God, for that new mercy every day. We thank you, God, for the grace, God, that is sufficient. We thank you, God, for just blessing us each and every day, God. We thank you for our jobs and blessing us on our jobs. God, giving us words to say and how to say. We thank you for the wisdom for doing our jobs. We thank you, God, for the transportation. We thank you, God, for the strength in our bodies. We thank you, God, that we are able to walk. Talking. Father God, we thank you for the little things, God, the, the little words, God, that somebody may speak to us throughout the day or the little nudges we have, God, by your spirit, Lord, to push us on. Lord God, we thank you for the encouragement that you give us, Lord. And God, we thank you, Lord, that even though, God, we may fall, we get back up, God, and Every time we get back up, God, we are different. Lord God, even, Lord God, in the failing of the test, God, you bless us, God, and you mature us a little bit and a little bit more, God. And we learn more and more and more, hallelujah. And we grow, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, and the change is taking place, God. A change in our heart, God. A change in our mind. A change in the way we look, God. A change in how we speak things, God. A change in our perception, God. A change is occurring, God. Even though we fall, even though we make a mistake, oh God, we just thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For that change to get place in our lives, God. We thank you, hallelujah. For that change, God. A new perspective, a new life, God. And even a greater determination to keep pressing, God. And we thank you for the press. We thank you, God, for the press. We thank you for the of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, that you never leave us open space. We thank you, God, for your love, God. We thank you, God, that you never give up on us, God. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We just thank you. We thank you for your covering. We thank you, God, for teaching us not to depend on our feelings and our emotions, but to walk by the Spirit and not by the flesh. God, we thank you. We thank you for that discernment. We thank you, God, for you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing, God, in our lives, in our neighbors' lives, in our families' lives. God, we just thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for touching each and every person, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for touching every name that's on the prayer list, God, every name that's been placed on the wall, every name that's been placed on the altar. God, we thank you for considering their situation. Considering their circumstances, God, we thank you, God, for your love in their lives. Your hand is behind. Your hand is moving, God. We thank you for working behind the scenes, God. We thank you 
for removing that fear. We thank you for removing that doubt. We thank you for removing that unbelief. We thank you for the new things, God, in our lives, Lord. Even the unsaved, God, are noticing, God, and we just thank you for what you're doing, God. We thank you, God, for that encouragement, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, God, for moving, Lord. Moving, Lord, moving, moving, moving out the land, Lord, God. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for moving throughout the land, Lord. And, Lord, God, touching the minds of your people, God. We thank you, God, for the new mindset, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for coming us closer to you, Lord. Closer and closer, Lord. Oh, God, and I thank you, God, that we are not stopping, Lord, God. We're not stopping. God, you're not, Lord God, we're not allowing hindrances, Lord God. We're not allowing people to come in the place. We're not allowing the circumstances to stop us. We're not going to go too far. And even if it looks like we don't have enough, God, you are more than enough. Hallelujah. You are more than enough, God. Oh, God, and we thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you for being more than enough. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Oh, God, even in the dark place you're there, even when we're hurting you there, God, when we need you, God, you're there. When we don't feel you, God, you're there. Oh, God, you're in places that we cannot see, God. But we thank you, God, because we send our prayers out, God. To those that are hurting, God, as we send our prayers out, God, to those that don't know you, God, Father, you even touching those that are backslid, even those that are walked away, God, and we can thank you for it. We thank you, God. We thank you for putting their hearts and their minds right now, God. We thank you for seeing about them, God, seeing about their situation. We thank you, God, for stirring up the gifts inside of them, God. We thank you, God, for changing their very atmosphere, God. Oh, God, and removing those strongholds, God, and tearing down those walls, God. And, oh, God, even dealing with their attitudes, God. And thank you for dealing with our attitudes, God. Thank you. God, for showing us us, God. Thank you, God, that we can strive to do better, that we can strive, God, to get more in your word, that we can strive, God, to serve you more, that we can strive, God, to cast all our cares upon you and not carry yourself, God, not carry it more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, in the frustration, God. Things that try to agitate us, God. Things that try to turn us, God. Oh, God, we're casting it all on you right now, God. We're throwing it at your feet, God. We, God, are letting it all go, God. Hallelujah. All sickness, God. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We throw it at your feet, God. Oh, God, the negativity, God. Oh, God, things that were said, God. Oh, God, even the lies, God. Lord God, the lies in the family, God. We thank you for reconciliation, God. Even in the marriages, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for that restoration, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you for that repentance part right now. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. That we take time to reflect. And consider our praise. God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for doing that thing for us, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for removing any sin that's in our heart, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Even now, God, we're thanking you in advance, God. Oh, God, for removing any jealousy, removing any envy, removing any anger, removing all the wrath. Removing all the competition, God. Oh, God, the comparison. Comparing ourselves to one another. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that we're fitly joined together, God. In the name of Jesus, we are one body. Oh, God, it's you, God. Working together, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that individually, God, that we're working to become one with you, one mind. In the one body, and that's the body of Christ. We thank you, God. We thank you for renewing our spirits. We thank you for the fresh breath. We thank you for the fresh anointing. We thank you for uplifting those heavy burdens, God. We thank you, Lord.
Lord, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, God. We thank you for seeing about us, God. Oh, God, we lift up our children right now, God. Hallelujah, God, they're proud or if they're you, they're you. God, I'm asking you to touch them right now, God. Oh, God, touch them in their minds, God. Touch them in their hearts, God. Huh? They don't have to be a certain thing, God. Hallelujah, God, they have the most fun of the God, even in their young days, God, let them not be deceived. Oh, God, and if they're out there doing what they want to do, when they want to do it, how they want to do it, God, still deal with their heart, God, deal with their minds, God. Let them come and just see all that you know. And that's because of people who want to do You're not going to just stop us, You're not going to stop us. You're not going to stop because you do not desire them to perish, God. You do not desire them to go to hell. So you keep working on them, God. But we thank you for that, God. We thank you for covering our youth, God, in the schools, in the playground. God, we thank you for keeping them, God, even in the heat. No heat struck, God. We thank you, God, for giving them wisdom to do their jobs. Lord God, in God, we thank you for giving the wisdom on how to teach, talk to people, deal with people, deal with their peers, deal with their teachers, God, deal with their surroundings, God, because their parents are not always with them, God, but you are, let them know, God, that you are with them at all times, God, even at a young age, Lord Jesus, fill them up with your spirit, God, at a young age, God, protect them from all her harm and danger, see it us. Let them not stay by themselves. 
He's not a saved God. Let him not be ashamed of the gospel. Let him not be ashamed of salvation. In the name of Jesus, let him not be ashamed, God. Let the joy overtake the God. And they can't do anything to celebrate the Lord. Oh, God, draw their people through loving kindness in the name of Jesus, God. Touch those now that are mourning, God, those that are lost for you, God. In the name of Jesus, go and touch their hearts, God. Give them comfort where they need comfort. Give them peace where they need peace. Let them not be overtaken with grief, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you, Lord, that are so right now, God, I'm so overtaken with grief, that they're your children the past five or three years ago. Oh, God, they're hearing them a long, long time ago. And you're seeing me through the wounds, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you right now. Oh, God, let them not feel condemned because they did not apologize, God. Let them not be condemned, Father God. Let the enemy not take the battle, God. Oh, God, the truth, Lord God, they had an argument, Lord God, and they never got their right. So that's the God. Lift that burden off of them, God. Help them to come to you and repent, God. Where they're asking for, 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 Oh, God, because you are a healer. You are a healer. You are a shepherd, God. And we shall not want anything, God. And we just thank you today, God. Thank you for being there for us, Lord. Thank you for providing for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for meeting every one of our needs, God. Any concerns, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you in advance for it. In the name of Jesus forever. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, we just bless you today, God. We bless you today, God. We bless you today, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we just thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we ask that you remove any fear, God. Any fear that's trying to keep in. God, we ask that you remove it now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you in advance, God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're going to do, God, in the name of Jesus. And we bless you, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you right now, Lord. We ask you, Lord God, that you will cover every intercessor on this line right now, Lord God. We ask right now in your holy name, Lord, that you will fill them back up, Lord God. That you will continue to fill them with your virtue, Lord God, with your power, Lord God, with your love, Lord God. Lord, we can we ask that you will continue to Teach them how to let the Holy Spirit intercede, Lord God, that they will hear your voice, Lord God, that they will see your spirit, Lord God, and they will know that it is you, Lord God, with an assurity, Lord God. But we ask that you will remove any doubt, any fear, any worry, the nervous spirit right now, the spirit of anxiety right now. Oh, God, I come to you right now, Lord God, asking that you will forgive us for any of our sins, knowingly or unknowingly, Lord God, anything that's hidden, Lord God, and anything that we know about, Lord God, that we don't even confess, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you will help us, Lord God, if we have an all with our brother, Lord God, to pull down that pride, Lord, and go to them and confess these things and pray with them, Lord God. Lord, help us not to lift thyself up higher than anyone else, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you would help us, Lord God, and humble us, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I come against that spirit of addiction right now. I come against that spirit of addiction right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you told me to pray for addiction, so I'm going to pray for addiction. I'm going to come after that spirit of addiction. I'm going to tear Satan's kingdom down right now in the name of Jesus. No matter what the addiction is, I come against it right now, Lord God. I pray that you would touch the taste buds, Lord God, and change the taste buds right now. Lord, I pray that you would change the desire, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you would change their heart, Lord God, change their 
surroundings, Lord God. Change the environment, Lord God. Change the people that they are engaging with, Lord God. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will snatch them out, Lord God. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that I cast down that spirit of addiction. Right now in the name of Jesus, it can no longer stand. Lord, even when they try to go and get whatever addiction they have, whatever drug they want, whatever drink they feel like they need, Lord God, I pray that it will make them sick on their stomach right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that it will make them so sick on their stomach that they just regurgitate. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, and when they do, Lord, I pray right now that their mind will be changed in an instant. Because you said you regulate the minds of the people, Lord God. I pray that their mind will be changed in the instant and they will turn from that thing, Lord God. Lord, touch them in their heart, Lord God. Touch them right now, Lord God. God, their footsteps right now in the name of Jesus. Because there's so many that are addicted, Lord God, and they don't want to be the way that they are. They do not want to be in the place that they are, Lord God. And, Lord, I'm asking that you will help them, Lord God. I'm asking that you will heal them, Lord God, because a lot of them use these drugs, use alcohol to try to cover up, to try to push through some things, Lord God, when that is not the way, Lord God. Lord, put someone in their path that can help them, that can teach them, that will pray for them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, help your people. Help your people, Lord God, so that they won't be so lost, so that they won't be in such a place of despair. Fair. Lord God, restore the hope, restore the joy, restore the peace, Lord God. Restore them, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. Fill them up, Father God, with your love, Lord God. Fill them with your compassion, Lord God. Fill them, Lord God, like never before, Lord God, because we know that you can use anybody. We know if you can make a donkey talk, you can use anyone, Lord God. Lord, we know in the name of Jesus, and we're standing on your word, Lord God. I'm praying, and I'm coming against that spirit of addiction because it's so heavy, and it's so strong. It's so heavy, and it's so strong, and it alters the state of mind of your people, Lord God. It it changes the mental state of your people, Lord God. And, Lord, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus that you would change it, Lord God, that you would heal them, Lord God. Right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, you will remove those people that are trying to entice them, Lord God. Lord, cover your children, Lord God. Cover the teens, Lord God. Remove these these guns off the street, Lord God, the violence, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, right now, God, I'm asking that you would cover and protect them right now, Lord God. Cover and protect them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, and let them know that they do not have to indulge and live this lifestyle, Lord God. Let them know that it's okay to be set apart. It's okay to be different. Lord God, help them not to succumb to peer pressure right now in the name of Jesus and to and to love the things of this world, Lord, but to love you, Lord God. Lord, help we know that we cannot love the things of the world and also love you, God. But we need these children have to be taught these things, Lord. And how can they be taught these things, Lord God, if the parents don't know, God, if the parents are lost, Lord God, if the parents are wayward, Lord God, help us, Lord God, help us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be better, Lord God. Help us to try more, Lord God. Help us not to just... Give up, God, because that's what the enemy wants us to do, Lord. But help us to continue to press, press, press. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how hard it seems, Lord, we have to continue to press, press, press. And I keep saying this every time I pray, help us to press, God. Help us to press, Lord God. Even when we don't want to get up out the bed, even when we feel like we're so depressed, Lord, I come against that spirit of depression, that spirit of sadness, that spirit of loneliness right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to love ourselves. 
ourselves, Lord God, to come against that spirit of low self-esteem, Lord God, not knowing our work, Lord God, but help us in that area, Lord. Help us because so many of your women, so many of your people struggle with low self-esteem, and they allow things, Lord God, and they settle for things, Lord God. But help us, Lord God, to know that you love us, Lord. Help us to know, Lord God, that we are made in your image, Lord God. We are fearfully and wonderfully and beautifully made, Lord God. We are a gem, Lord God. And help us, Lord God, to Feel that in our heart, Lord God, no matter what people have said, no matter what people have done, Lord, help us to love ourselves, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to know that we don't have to be with someone, Lord God, that it's okay to be by ourselves, Lord. Help us right now in the name of Jesus because you're always there with us. We're never lonely, Lord. You're always there. Help us, Father God. Help us, Father God. Teach us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. Take us into a place with you, Lord God, where we're intimate with you, God, where we, when someone tries to come into our life, they have to get close to you in order to even get close to us. Lord. Take us to that place, Lord God. Because we need to be in that place. We need to love on you, Lord. We need you to love on us, Lord God. We need to open our hearts, Lord God, so that we can accept some things, Lord God, so that we can allow you to come in, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. Cover us right now in the name of Jesus. Protect us, shield us, and camp your angels around us, Lord God. But it's a hedge of protection around us, Lord God. Lord God, continue to push us, Lord God, to get up in the morning and to pray, Lord God, and to go forth, Lord God, and to speak, Lord God, what you would have us to speak, Lord God. Continue to speak through us, Lord God. Less of us and more of you, Lord God. Anytime we go to open our mouth, Lord God, less of us and more of you, God. Help us to crucify this flesh daily. Every day, Lord God, bring it to our memory that we will crucify this flesh. That we will go forth in purpose, Lord God. That we will acknowledge you in all our ways, Lord God. That we will let you direct our path, Lord God. No matter if it's just stopping and go to a gas station, Lord God, we will acknowledge you in that. Lord, whatever way you want us to go to work, we will acknowledge you in that before we pull out of our driveway. Help us to acknowledge you in the little things, Lord God, that we don't even think that you should be acknowledged in, Lord God. But you said acknowledge you in all our ways, in all our ways, and you will direct our path, Lord God. And we know that the path that you have set for us is a straight path, Lord God. Help us not to go on the crooked path, Lord God, but to continue on the straight path, Lord God. We continue to follow you and do your will, Lord God. Let your perfect will be done in our life, Lord God. Let our will line up with your will, Father God. Nevertheless, not our will, but your will be done in our life, God. Let your will be done in our life. Because our ways are not your ways. Our thoughts are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts, Lord God. You can do exceedingly, abundantly above all we could ever think or even imagine, Lord. And right now, I just want to bless you for that, God. Because what the things that we think, they're so small. But the things that you think are great, they're of abundance. And we can't even, we can't even fathom those things. We can't even think that far. That's why you say our thoughts are not your thoughts. Our ways are not your ways because the way you would do something is definitely not the way that we would do something. And we just thank you right now for that, God. We bless you right now for that revelation, God. I bless you, God. I praise you, God. I glorify you, God. 
I exalt you, God. Because you are the King of kings, you are the Lord of lords, and I worship you, God. I worship you, God. You said you would have no one before you. You said you were a jealous God. Lord, tell down any idols, Lord, that we may have, Lord God. Tell down anything that we may have placed above you, Lord, that we don't even know about. Help us to recognize it and see it and fix that situation, Lord God. Help us to place you first in our life, in our heart, in our mind, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Help us, Father God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, Lord God. We thank you for strengthening us, Lord God. When we feel weak, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for being our strength when we are weak, Father God. We thank you for holding us up and lifting us up, Lord God. We thank you for your sweet spirit, Lord. We thank you for your concern, Lord, for always being there when we need you, Lord God. Always showing up right on time, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for that, Lord God, because even when our friends turn their back, even when our families turn their back, even when people in the church turn their back, you are never going to turn your back on us. You're always there, Lord God. We can always come to you no matter what the situation is. If we stomp our big toe, you're right there and you're concerned about it, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for forgiving us, Lord God. We thank you, God. Because every time we come to you in repentance, you throw it into the sea of forgiveness. No man is like that. No man is like you. Because they're going to remember. They're going to bring it back up. But not you, God. It's forgotten. And we thank you for that, God. We bless you, God. We thank you for that right now, God. Lord, I pray that you will continue to cover us as we go to work, Lord God. Put a shield of protection around our cars, Lord God, that we won't have any flat tires, we won't have any accidents, we won't have any rollovers, Lord God. I pray that you will cover the buses, Lord God, as they transport the children to school, Lord, the daycare vans, Lord God. Lord, the children that are walking, Lord God, I pray that you will protect them, Lord God, that no one will try to mess with them, they would, no one will try to pick them up, Lord God. Lord, I pray that they will make it to school safely, Lord God, Lord, I pray that you will protect them from even the teachers, Lord God, pedophilia, Lord God, I pray that you will protect them from this because we need to anoint our children because even the teachers are now looking at our children. We need to anoint our children and pray over them before they go to school, Lord God, especially our girls. That spirit has infiltrated the teachers more. And they try to hide it. They try to suppress it. But it's coming out. Lord, I pray right now that you will protect our children. And if this, if a situation comes about, Lord, give them the boldness to come and talk to us and let us know, Lord God. Give them that boldness, Lord God. Lord, continue to protect the pastor right now, Lord God. Touch her in her mind, Lord God. Touch her in her body, Lord God. Touch her in her heart, Lord God. Touch everyone that's in her household, Lord God. Anyone that's attached to her right now, God. I pray right now, Lord God, and I come against any warfare, Lord God. I come against any demonic attack right now. Lord God, I pray that you will touch her in her belly right now, Lord God. I pray that you will remove any pain right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray right now that you will continue to fill her up, Lord God, as she pours into your people every single day, Lord God. I pray that you will continue to restore her virtue right now in the name of Jesus. I call upon restoration. In the mind, Lord God. Right now, Jesus, restore her, God. Complete the work that you've begun in her, Lord God. Continue to manifest your spoken word, Lord God. Continue to manifest these things in her life, Lord God. 
Help her not to be concerned or worry about people being jealous of her, Lord God, because they don't know what she had to go through, Lord God. They don't know the battles that she had to fight, Lord God. And then when she gets blessed, it's always somebody saying he always doing something for her, but you don't know what she had to go through before he started doing something for her. You don't know what she had to face. You don't know what she had to fight. You don't know how she had to press. You don't know when she was knocked down to her knees and she had to crawl just to get out of the fire. You don't know. The Lord help her because she even tries to shield and hide her blessings to keep people from being in that place of sin. And it shouldn't be so. I'm asking you, God, to help her in that area right there, God. Because it grieves her spirit that someone would just be so hateful towards her, so jealous towards her when she does nothing but try to show loving kindness as you did, when she does nothing but try to show compassion and love on you and pray for you. Lord, help them. Help her not to be so grieved, Lord God. And, Lord, we thank you that she's not easily offended. We thank you for that. We thank you, Lord God, for the mind that you've given her, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the heart that you have given her, Lord God. We bless you right now, Lord God. And I pray a special hedge of protection around her. A special hedge of protection, Lord God. Dispatch your angels around her, Lord God. Let her glow, Lord God. Let your glory rest upon her and her household, Lord God. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Is there anybody that want to share any visions, dreams, or testimonies? Well, if not, then we're going to close it. And I pray that you women have a blessed and awesome day today. It's Friday. Happy yes, Friday. love. It is Friday. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Well, I hope that you have an awesome day, too, Jamonica. Thank you. And Miss Marilyn and Keita and whoever else is online, I hope y'all have the most wonderful, peaceful day that you can ever have. Thank you, Lisa. We appreciate it. (laughs) 